What is going on guys? Troublesome here back with another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Today we're going to do a 62 Lincoln Continental. This is a Gollywog mod. And if I might add, it is a beauty. These are some lead sleds. Uh, this was a junkyard find. I have literally spent the last hour and 25 minutes in the junkyard looking for a different car because there's something going on with my game. I don't know why or what. Nothing changed. I didn't subscribe to any new mods or anything like that. But I can't get into my parking. Uh, it freezes every time I try to go to my parking. And I had one of these in parking. But I can't go to parking, so I couldn't access it. Uh, I've been wanting to do this car, and I couldn't get to it, man. It was like torture. I had a few in there. So anyway, I went around looking at the junkyards, auctions, for just anything I could do. Uh, reset my game a couple times. Could not figure out what was going on. I still don't know. Still can't go to my car parking. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what's up with it, so... I just uh, kept going until I found this and decided to do a video on it. Planning on it anyway, wasn't planning on doing it today, but that's what I am going to do today. So welcome back, guys. I learned a fun fact about Lincoln Continental. Uh, if you're a car guy at all, you know that they've been in and out of production for a long time. 2003, they quit producing them, and then in 2000, I think 16, no, 2017 maybe, they just released a new version of it, which looks like a, uh, I don't know, it really looks like just maybe a fusion with Lincoln badging on it, which is not the same as it used to be, but back in the 30s, I think it was the 30s. I might be misspeaking here, but sucker came with a V12. Now I'm sure it was a like a ridiculously weak 130 horsepower V12, but still kind of cool. Didn't even know Lincoln made a V12. Now this particular one, I believe, came with a 460 Ford engine. If not, it was somewhere in that family of big block Fords. They actually made a two-door. Uh, and they made a four-door sedan, which is this one. And they made a four-door convertible. But I don't know if they made the convertible in 62 or not. This one specifically says 62 in the uh, description, which is another rare thing. Because normally the modders don't do that. This is a Gollywog mod, so I know I won't be disappointed. This one has a single carb, I believe it is a single carburetor V8 in it, push rod style, nothing, nothing Ford specific. It's just one of the generic engines, but uh, it's fitting. Oh, it's a two carb. Look at that. Ooh. ooh. Two four barrels. All right, go back. I'm not worried about that right now. Go back. There we go. There we go. So how's you guys' days going, man? Let me know in the comments. Curious. Curious. How people's days been. You ever wonder if sometimes you ask questions like that because you want to talk about your own day? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just out of courtesy? I don't really know. I don't know. My day wasn't bad. I don't want to talk about it. But it wasn't bad. I can't complain. And you know what? If I could, it wouldn't do any damn good. So I'm not going to. Uh, 
this crossbar right here. Now, I didn't know enough about the suspension on these things like I do the Impalas to know whether or not it was a leaf spring or trailing arm or what the setup exactly was. So I'm not going to speak to it. But uh, underneath this thing looks okay. Looks good. Good. Looks good. All right. I'll tell you what else looks good is that dope white wall. Perfect for this car. Now, if you guys are on Instagram, check out... Well, check out my page because it's incredibly boring. Under the same name as the channel. Probably ought to do something about that. But anyway, check out Suicide Slabs if you like these kind of cars. If you if you like these Lincolns, there's a, there's a page called Suicide Slabs. I believe it's spelled out no weird Zs or Ss or anything like that. But uh, there's a lot of them with air ride and lowered and stuff, and it's it's a pretty cool page. If if you like it if you like this kind of car but there's some videos on there you know these things sitting real low with the giant white walls cruising down the highway and stuff it's pretty cool i enjoy it i enjoy it all right well that's the chassis chassis uh while i was out the junkyard i did get another one of these that's the uh chubby daytona coupe which is uh a virtual gold mine Hey, you know what? I just screwed up. Let's go ahead and fix the body of the coupe while we're at it. That car brings loot. That car brings loot. I paid 735 grand for that chunk of crap right there. And it will pay dividends. Hey, they changed the charger. Oh, see that? They gave it a little platform. I guess people didn't like it sitting on top. See that? That's cute. That's cute. That's because somebody got butt hurt because they set it on top. Somebody got butt hurt. I guarantee it. Power to the butt hurt. Something else I noticed they changed when I was at the auction house. Uh, the the uh, super valuable cars, the cheap cars still go by 500 bucks at a time, but the really valuable ones now go by five grand at a time. So the auctions go much, much faster, which is nice. And I was butt hurt about that, if you recall, a couple of days ago. So maybe I. Uh, you know, maybe I implemented some change there. I doubt it. I doubt it, but maybe. Maybe. Um, I want to see what kind of interior this guy's got. Front bench and bench. Okay. All right, well, let's start there. Front bench. Ooh, okay. Front bench. I guess I'm going to start with front bench and see what color options I have. Oh, hell. Now, that did just say front bench, didn't it? Am I wrong? Chapman bench. Bench. Cape. Front Let's try that one. That's not going to be it. And I'll try this one too. Bench Custom? Oh, what the hell? Bench Cape Front. Okay. Then that's what we'll put in it. Then that's what we will put in it. Ah, uh, that sucks. I gotta use a black one though. All right. No choice. No friggin' choice. See, I do not have a proper steering wheel for this thing. Come on.
Okay. Let's see. What steering wheel is more appropriate? This one or this one? Since I've never driven a 62. Cape, Bowen, Atlanta. I'm going to say this one is. Looks like that's the one they used anyway. Okay, let's slap this body back together now. Even though I don't have hardly any... Oh, wait, I gotta repair stuff. Let's do that first. Okay, the repairing went relatively well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got this tail light, I believe. Nope, I got the other tail light, I guess. Rear bumper. Oh, yeah. And then I got the front door up here. Yeah. Um, no hood. No front bumper. I got one headlight. We can drive it home with one headlight. Who remembers that song? Oh, boy. Old. I'm old. I'm freaking old, boy. Okay. Lincoln, 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 Lincoln. Okay, trunk. Glass. 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 Let's see. Front right. I don't remember the tail light, so I'm just going to get them both. It saves me so much time and effort later. Got the back bumper. Hood. Glass. More glass. Even more glass. Front, left, right, rear. Right? Right? Is that it? Is that all? Ooh, we're batting a thousand now. Holy shit, can you guys even believe I pulled that off? Hang on, it ain't over yet. <gasps> oh my god, I got all the freaking body parts. Hallelujah. Hmm, it's really hard to abbreviate suicide. Oh no. Oh no, there's no back license plate? Oh man, I just wasted a bunch of money on license plates. Oh man. Well, looky there. 100%. I'll be damned. <laughs> well, I got license plates that say Suicide Slab, but they ain't gonna work. You know what I'm gonna do before I do the interior? I am going to... Dismount these bad boys. 16%. Just want to make sure I can repair them. 9, I can't do that one. 37. 17. Alright, so I can repair all the rims but one. I should say, theoretically, I can change, or I can repair every rim but one. Doesn't mean I'll be successful at it. Now, I am gonna have to buy this tire, these tires. Two hundred five, seventy-five, fourteen.
You know what? I can't do it. I'm not even going to go that big. I just can't put a 14 on it. Because I am almost positive it did not come. 205, 45... Almost positive it didn't come with a freaking 14 inch rim. So now I'm going to go 15s and I'm going to have to get rims. Holy crap, guys, there's a fly flying around my head. I just snagged it out of midair like Mr. Freaking Miyagi. Holy shit. That seriously just happened. Which one, this one or this Bowen? Hmm, I like the chrominess of this, but I think this is a better... Eh, you know what, I'm going to get this one. Alright, that's what we're doing. I cannot believe I just snagged that... <laughs> that freaking fly out of midair, that was awesome. Oh my god. Guys, I'm a freaking idiot. I don't know what I was thinking getting a 45 series tire. Oh my god. What in the actual hell? Let me go get something a little bit beefier than that. Because that is going to look stupid. It's alright. Don't worry about the money. Do not worry about the money. I'm going to be okay with my 10 mil. I can throw this shit away. Alright, 205.70. That is more appropriate. Let me separate this one because I'm a jackass. Looks so black. That's what she said. Okay, 45. I don't want that. I want... Oh, God. I want the 70. Much better. That's a much beefier tire. That will fit the car a lot better. Like it will fill the, it will fill the uh, fender well very nicely. Very nicely. All right, 70 series. Let's go. I'll be back when this is done. It looks much chromier on the balancer. I will say that. Much chromier. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get this beast together. Now, guys, I don't really care about performance parts on an old Lincoln. I just don't. Because this is not a car that you drive fast. This is a car that you cruise very, very slowly on. Okay, how's that fit? That fits much better than a 14. Balencio. Yeah, that's so much better. I forgot to take this this out. Do I have one? I freaking do. I'm gonna run out of god dang bushings. Oh man, I can't believe I didn't run out of them damn bushings. Let's take out bushings. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Watch, 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 watching me. This is what it really feels like working on a car on a lift.
Oh, reaching up. Oh, reaching up. Grabbing it up from behind. That's what she said. Okay, that is on. This is not, because I do not have the engine out yet. This is a problem. No bushing. I do not have this thingy over here. I'm missing pieces. I'm missing pieces, so I need to go to the stove. Uh, not the tire shop. This one. Front exhaust pipe C. Two of these. And then front, let's see, what was the word? Knuckle? Knuckle C? Knuckle C. Let's go with that. Let's see how far it takes us. And don't have another double wishbone shock absorber. I do not have it. I do have these now. I think I can take that engine out with these installed. Dude, golly, bog. Nice job lining up that exhaust, buddy. Wow. You do not see that on mods very often. Okay, guys, I always do these in bulk, so I'm doing 10 of them. So, uh... I'll be back, and I am going to get comfortable, because I'm going to be here for a while. Last flipping one. Oh, that one's... No, 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 it was this side. My bad, my bad. Okay, and that, and this, all right. Okay, that is freaking purdy. That is purdy. Let's go spray this thing jet black. Dark, dark, dark. Oh, we think. That is a black beauty. Yeah. Oh, man, that looks good. Boy, this sucker's rough. Alright guys, you guys have seen enough of this. If you've watched my channel at all, if you want to see this full engine teardown and reassembly, please post a comment and let me know. I will do one just for you. I take requests. But otherwise, I'm going to spare you guys the agony of this teardown rebuild. And jump cut to the next part, which will be a completed engine, and putting it in our Lincoln. We'll see you guys in just a jump cut. Okay, guys, uh, wrapping up this engine. Yeah, I did have a couple performance parts that I had in my inventory already, so I did go ahead and uh, install them. But it really wasn't much, and it really wasn't worth it. So, that should, I think, that's an engine. I think, 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 I think. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh man, that looks nice. Fresh off the charge battery. Brick servo radiator. And hmm. Fill this thing up with oil and then see if the transmission's any good. Okay. It is shot. Gearbox OHV V8 Gearbox OHV V8 Try again. All right. On drive shaft. Don't be don't be contrary. Oh no man. Oh man. Drive shaft. Oh, I'll get a few of them because I use them. Those things are expensive. Oh, starter. I almost forgot. Almost forgot the starter. And the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful drive shaft. Am I too far away? Oh my god, I'm so close. All right. Okay, guys, very little invested in that thing. Very little money. That is slick. That is going to do it for today. Let's see what she's worth. $50,000. I don't even know what I paid for it, so I cannot speak to how much money I made on this. Hundreds across the board. It's a freaking beautiful model. Hats off to Gollywog for making this mod. Guys, check it out on the Steam Workshop if you're interested. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and making me a part of your day. If you like this video, hit that like button, will you? It helps me out a bunch. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Drop new videos every single day. Starting a tutorial series on islands that I'm dropping simultaneous with my regular uploads. Uh, they're short, sweet, to the point. Just quick tutorials for people getting started on the game. Did not know these had suicide trunks. Suicide everything. Except for the front doors. Suicide is backwards. Oh, man, that's dope. Oh, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. As usual, I will see you guys next time around. Thanks again.